In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus sodium phosphate. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. The coefficients for this equation are 3, 2, 1, and 6. If you need help balancing the molecular equation, there's a link in the description on how to do that. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So nitrates, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble little AQ, aqueous dissolved in water. Compounds with sodium, also very soluble. Dissolve in water, split apart into their ions. Phosphates in general, unless they're with a group one element like sodium or potassium, they're gonna be insoluble. So this is gonna be insoluble. It won't dissolve in water. Since it doesn't dissolve, it's a solid. In fact, when this reaction takes place, this will be a precipitate. When this lead to phosphate forms, it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. It'll be a solid. Nitrates, very soluble. Put a little AQ after that. Those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. And that gives us what's called the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. The nitrate here, nitrates are always 1 minus. We have two of them, so the lead has to be 2 plus. That's why I'm calling this lead to nitrate. So let's split it up. We have three of the lead two ions. And then for the nitrates, we have the one times two. So we have two of them times three. So we have six nitrate ions. I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that right now. Plus sodium, group one, one plus, and phosphate, three minus. So I have two times three, six sodium ions. And then I have two times the one phosphate. So I have two phosphate ions. And those are the reactants. In the products, this is a solid. So solids, we don't split those up in net ionic equations. So we have Pb3PO4,2. So that will be our lead to phosphate plus, we said plus and minus, six sodium ions, and then six nitrate ions. So those are the products. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They appear on both sides of the equation. So I see that I have six nitrate ions here in the reactants, six in the products. Let's just cross them out. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. We also have six sodium ions here and six here. Cross them out. But everything else, that's unique. So this is our net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus Na3 PO4. I'll clean this up and add in the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus sodium phosphate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.